is a mall project that we're doing here, an extension to uh, Brentwood Mall, existing Brentwood Mall. It's going to contain six floors of below grade parking. There's also uh, the entire footprint of the site is eight acres and we're building on all eight acres of it. The two commercial towers, we're pouring the core pad for one of them today. We poured the core pad for one of them last March. So this is our second time at it. Weather's a little bit better this time around. Some of the main challenges, I suppose, were uh, we got this existing mall here. You had all the services running through the parkade. And we had to take them all out, reroute them. So we're just finishing that portion of it. Part of the existing mall was still here. So they, some of the tenants had to be relocated within the mall. And we had to do some demolition, uh, all that sort of stuff. So the demolition is just completed last week. And now we're getting going with the, as I say, getting going with the extra activation here. Today we're pouring the core footing for Tower 2. We're batching about 350 to 400 meters an hour. So, and the total volume is about three and a half thousand cubic meters. So we're hoping to get it done in uh, 10 hours, which will be pretty good. We've already got 2,000 cubic meters on the road or on its way to us. So it's quite a, quite a large chunk of concrete. The core footing itself in its deepest point is over 4.4 meters deep. Um, it's got 700 metric tons of reinforcing in it. And as I said, over 3,500 cubic meters of concrete. So it's going well, as you see, we've got five pumps going here. Uh, we've got two uh, concrete suppliers. We've got Magnum and Burnco, uh, and it's supplying out of three locations, but four batching plants. Today's a big day, it's a big milestone day, and uh, the, the logistics are getting the concrete trucks on site. We were here to late yesterday evening getting the pumps set up. We were here this morning at 5.30 trying to get the last of the pumps set up and just getting things running. Uh, but it's taken a lot to get to this situation, like you know what I mean? We've been not, we started excavation uh, last September. Um, and it's, we, we've had our problems with uh, services in the way and the wind, digging through the winter months and when it's raining and you wouldn't think it on a day like this, but, and then just, actually getting down to that level and getting the whole getting the the dirt excavated out of there getting the whole dug and then getting the, all the rebar like the 700 metric tons of rebar in there like it's uh, legit but then it comes to the big day like this so as i say there's lots of there's lots of lead up to a day like this and then today is just uh it's a bit of a logistics nightmare but i find if you plan for it we've had three three people three poor meetings with all the partners involved with MACON, Burnco, Cyber McKenzie, Alliston and the Sh and uh, Shape Properties and I think once you plan once you plan ahead and you do a bit of foresight into it I, I think it should go pretty well and it, it seems to be going pretty well so far.